yeah, I got bangs. Go ahead and run down to the comment section and tell me what you think about them. I want to know, um, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I want to know if you think that you like my other hairdo better. If you think, you know, yeah, I like the bangs, but the other one was better. If you think this one's better, I want to know your honest, honest opinion. Um, I'm really pleased with them. I kind of feel like Demi Lovato, you know, all I need is a leather jacket. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about them, but I guess that's all that matters. But I care what you guys think about them, because you're the ones that have to watch me all the time. Um, I kind of feel like this is more of like a punky look that I would wear, um, like going out late at night, like big dramatic eyeliner, like all smudged in black. And so I have started, I can't really say freelancing because I'm not 18, so I can't like go do people's makeups for photo shoots or anything for money. But I have started freelancing or just doing my friend's makeup. It started a while back when I talked to you guys about it. I probably had like a thousand subscribers and I was like, I'm going to do my friend's makeup for a dance and I was really excited and I did like eight girls makeup and that's when it started. Now it's like every time someone has an important dinner, a dance, a party, it's always like call up Blair and you know she'll get it done. So I decided that I'm someone that likes to be super 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 organized and something I like to be organized about is my makeup which you guys have seen before. I've gotten together all of the makeup that I need to take on photo shoots that I need to take on, you know, anywhere I'm going. That way, if I have to go to someone's house, I don't have to pack the makeup, then unpack it, then pack it. So basically what I've done is I got a train case, and it's from yazmo.com. I think it's pronounced Yasmo, but I don't want to say it's from yasmo.com and then everyone be like, oh my gosh, you know. So yes, that's where I got it from, and I also got a brush belt which I'm really excited about because I wanted to get a MAC brush belt, but they're black. And I was like, I'm such a pink girl. So I got a pink brush belt. Yes. So you guys can see it in a second. But I'm really trying to start, you know, getting my foot in the door for the day I turn 18, which is when I will start freelancing. So I went ahead and I invested in a very, very, very good, durable train case. Now I'm about to show you it, and I'm going to give you a tour of it, all the makeup, all the stuff that I have in it know that the camera I was using it had to be like a actual camera I could carry around and like you know film it and I'm just gonna edit that clip into here well um it started dying at the very very end so yeah um but you still see everything it's just like at the very end I'm like oh my gosh it's dying bye so basically I take the train case I go and all the makeup that's in there that's not all the makeup I have that's the makeup I need for doing someone's makeup or anything but I still have makeup in my personal makeup collection and I have kind of a dupe or an exact you know two of the same items that I have for myself so that I can use my fingers in them and I don't have to be super sanitary with it and then I have my set and most of the stuff in my set I don't have dupes for but the stuff I use every day I do um the main thing that I really find that I'm always like, oh gosh, I didn't bring the right color for you, is not foundation, is not concealer, it is lipstick. Lipstick will change someone's entire look. If I was wearing red lips right now, um, that might go really, really well with my bangs. I think I want to do like smoky, smudged black eyes and bright red lips and like go somewhere, but where do I have to go? So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the clips where I show you the case. Um, you're going to be excited. It's pink and it's huge. Now the thing I want to tell you about this is the case I got is definitely an investment. You do not want to go out and get a case like this if, you know, I don't know, you just really want a makeup case. They have smaller ones that aren't as expensive. The one I got was expensive. It, it You know, you can go on the site and check everything out price-wise. But if I could recommend one thing for you to get, it would be the pink brush belt. I'm so excited. Like, when I'm doing my own makeup, I'm wearing my little brush belt, and I'm, like, putting it to the front and pulling out my brushes and putting it to the side and pulling out my brushes, and I'm so proud of it. And, you know, I'll walk around and be like, oh, i got to touch up your makeup, pull out my brush, you know. Yeah. So let's go watch them.
So here first we have the brush belt, and it's pink and it matches my nails. How cute. Okay, so what this has is in the top row it has these smaller places for your brushes. Then down here it has big places in case you have some pretty big brushes. Or you can do what I did and just put a lot in one section. Then it has these two mesh pockets at the bottom. In one I have three kabukis. And in the other, I have tools like an eye pencil sharpener or a lip pencil, whatever, an eyelash comber, different tweezers, yeah. So on this top row, I keep all of my MAC brushes. Down on the second row, I have Sigma brushes, Coastal Scent brushes, and CVS brushes. So that's that. That's the brush roll. And then, of course, it has the place where you can hook it onto your waist or your hips or wherever. So let me get this. So it can fit any size body anybody has. It has the longest string. And you just unhook it like this, put it around your body, and hook it back up. Alright, so here in the back is where it has a little handle. So it has two settings. So you would put it up like that and drag it along. And it's awesome. The wheels work really good. They're not squeaky, you know, that sort of thing. Alright, and here is the train case that I keep all of the makeup in. So first it has this top part. So you unlatch this and it comes with keys so that you can lock it. And in here I'm going to turn it sideways so that I can open it. Alright, so here's what you see when you first open it. What I have are lipsticks, lip glosses, these are doubled up, so are these. Um, and then I have anything for face basically. I have pressed powders, I have um, powder foundations, I have mineralized skin finishes. Alright, then you open this up and over here I have my favorite lip glosses, huge lips, skinny hips. I have some lip fusions, tinted, whatever that is, lip conditioner, um, dazzle glasses because when you are doing it on someone else you always want to have the perfect lip gloss color for them and lipstick. And then I have another lip conditioner and something to mix any pigments with to make any color lipstick. Then you open it up and you have these. And what I really like about this here, you can notice it up here, is it has all these ridges and you just take this out and put it in the one you want to. So here I have two, here I just have one, down here I have a long one going this way and then two short ones. So right here I have foundations and concealers, and then I also have a loose powder right there. Over here I have my eyeliners and my mascara that I use. Here I have primers right there for any skin type. Oily, dry, fill in your pores, fill in your wrinkles. Um, then I have some, what are these, paint pots, and then I have um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then I have my favorite primer, which is, which is Cliché Cosmetics Eye Primer, so that's what I reach for the most, but yeah. And then in here, I have blushes and two different bronzers, Nars Laguna and Hoola, but these are all just MAC blushes and whatever color I need for that particular day. And then you close this. Now here is the cool thing, so you go to the sides, you unhook it, and you pop the top off. So you have another section down here. Now this section comes with another lid, so if you want you can carry that one and drag this one, or you can just take this, or you can just take that, and this, oh, almost fell over. This comes with this awesome little shoulder strappy, but this still has the roller thing. So you can put it on setting one if you're just pulling it, but if the thing is on top of it, you can put it on setting two. And yeah. Okay. So we're going to take that off there. Here's what I have up here. I have Q-tips and cotton balls. Again, I love these organizers. They are amazing. I have makeup remover wipes, sponges, eyelashes. Um, eyelash glue, Fix Plus, eye makeup remover, and brush cleanser. My camera is dying, so I need to really, really hurry. And now you just have this really deep section that doesn't have any sort of, you know, pouches or anything. 
And down here, it's really dark, so I doubt you can see, but I have a bunch of palettes. I have Urban Decay palette, Krylon, Makeup Forever, um, Mayron, and Urban Decay. So that's what's in this. Okay, so what do you think? Um, of course, that's not all my makeup. If you've seen, I don't have any of my MAC eyeshadows in there because I feel like the palettes I'm taking have exact dupes of all of my MAC eyeshadows, so I don't know why I waste so much money on MAC eyeshadows. I, I just get pulled to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I walk to the MAC counter, and I'm like, I don't need any more eyeshadows. I'm just going to get, you know, this. Um, not so much. All right, so go check out the Yasmo website. Um, make sure that you look for something that's good for you. If you do not have a huge makeup collection, I would recommend getting one of their smaller um, train cases they have. And it's hard, so if you're traveling and your makeup's going to break, it's really easy to take the dividers that I showed you and move it around to fit all of your stuff. And that's what you can keep your makeup in instead of little plastic pull-out drawers. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, so yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think of the hair. Tell me what you think of anything that has to do with this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.